can you use a mouse with an iPhone or an iPad? In this video, I'm gonna let you know, let's go. Now, one of my pet peeves is when people in videos take forever to tell you the answer that you've come to get. So, no, you cannot connect a USB mouse, a wireless USB mouse, or even a Bluetooth mouse to your iPad or your iPhone. So if that's the answer you came here for, you're good to go. But if you want to hang around, you can find out exactly why that is the case and actually watch me test this just in case you're not sure that I'm actually telling you the truth. So let's jump in and talk about this now. Now, the reason I get this question all the time is I talk about this device a lot, which is the Lightning to USB 3 adapter. Now, you can check out a video up there and down in the description. This allows you to connect a whole variety of USB devices to your iPhone or your iPad, including microphones, USB audio interfaces, MIDI keyboards, keyboards, typing keyboards, and a whole bunch of other peripherals. The one thing, or well, not the one thing, but one of the things you can't connect is this sucker here, a USB mouse. The main reason you can't do that is that iOS simply does not support mouse input right now. Now, this is in May of 2019. This could change in the future. And if and when it does, I'll be back here to update you and celebrate with you that you can use it. But for right now, if you're playing Fortnite, if you're playing your favorite app, if you're trying to do some sort of video editing or other thing where you think, hey, how cool would a mouse be? Unfortunately, you need to hit up Apple and say, let's get some mouse support in iOS. Because right now, even using the Lightning to USB adapter, you're not going to be able to use a mouse. But if you don't believe me, and I don't know why you wouldn't, but let's jump in now and actually test this out and see what happens when we connect a mouse to our iPhone. And here we have all of the items we need for this test. We have an iPhone, we have a Lightning to USB 3 adapter, we have our USB dongle for our mouse, and we have the mouse itself. So what we need to do first is plug in the dongle into the Lightning to USB 3 adapter. Now, if you're using a keyboard, a typing keyboard, this works. If you're using microphones, audio interfaces, MIDI keyboards, this works beautifully. And what we can do now is plug this in to the bottom of our phone like that. And what's gonna happen here? Well, absolutely nothing. You can see that our mouse is on there and nothing has actually happened. It hasn't told us we're doing anything. Now you might say, oh, that's just because you're not in an app that supports using a mouse. Well, let's go into something like a video editor here into LumaFusion. Yeah, here's the problem. We have no mouse pointer. There is no mouse support here in iOS. So regardless of which app we go into and what we do, the mouse is going to do nothing. So a typing keyboard is going to work if you're playing Fortnite, you can use a keyboard. GarageBand, again, you can use the keyboard. There's a lot of things that support the typing keyboard and there's a heap of other USB devices that you can connect to your iPhone or your iPad. A mouse, sadly, is not one of them. Why don't we connect it up to the iPad and just make sure that the exact same thing's gonna happen there as well. Okay, we're plugged into our iPad here and again, nothing is happening. So, sadly, the mouse does not work in our iPad, our iPhone, or or any of our iOS devices simply because there is no mouse pointer support for any of our apps here in iOS. Now, if you know different, if you've done some jailbreaking or done some funky things that has got a mouse working in an iPad or an iPhone, by all means, let me know down in the comments. But if you are just running your normal iOS 11, iOS 12, and you're using a Lightning to USB adapter, you unfortunately cannot use a mouse. There you go. If this was a question that was on your mind, hopefully, now you know and sorry to be the bearer of bad news but i want to make sure that you don't go down the rabbit hole and try and find a way to do something that is currently not possible if you'd like to see more videos like this around audio video and mobile then subscribe to the channel thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time